Okay, the start of a project I've been uh, wanting to build for the last couple of years, but uh, just haven't had the time to do it. Now that I'm semi-retired, I've got the time. So I'm going to build the Skinner device. Uh, I think his name was William Skinner. Sounds about right. And um, the reason I want to do this is because it replicates something that we already have about 8,000 of. And for this machine to work, it wouldn't actually have to break any laws of physics to run itself. So um, I'll explain that in a later video as we're going along. Uh, once I've got it together, it'll be a whole lot easier to explain. So far I haven't seen any successful replications and most of the devices I've looked at seem to have the second weight up the top near the uh, cranky handle which we're not going to be doing, there shouldn't be any reason to need that to see a result. Maybe it improves efficiency a little bit more but to see the effect we won't need it so I've been scrounging bits and pieces from around the uh, yard here so first we've got a bent bit of threaded bar um, steering knuckle ball joint here we got my old coil winder I made so this is actually going to be our crank handle and I'll cut that off get rid of that bolt weld a bit of this threaded bar on here screw the steering knuckle on for the shaft to go into and that way I can adjust it in and out a little bit and then uh, we'll make up a crank handle for the top half but because we've got threaded rod with nuts and that we can take the crank handle off and uh, put a pulley on should it come to that to drive it with a motor or a little sprocket or whatever we decide to use gears uh, Went and raided the hub out of an old shop rider front wheel because it's got our bearings and everything in it um, and that is the stub axle out of the off the front as well I cut off and welded onto this uni joint from a um, steering system out of a motor vehicle so that fit into there give us enough on the bottom to put another pulley or whatever on generator and then I raided an old telescope, which was just an El Cheapo I bought for $20 or something at a garage sale. Uh, I've used the shaft out of that and I've got the counterweight so I can slide the weight in and out as well to change that. And I've welded the shaft directly in line with the centre of the uni joint and not up here. Um, the reason being is the further up it is, the more you tilt your arm. Uh, like this, you're actually lifting the weight over in an arc where if it's in parallel with the centre of our uni joint when we twist it, the shaft just twists so there's no um, effort required from our arm to raise and lower the weight in an arc so that's the start, the next thing I've got to do is uh, go and grab some steel out of the steel pile and knock up a quick frame. It's only going to be a short one, it doesn't need to be high. Um, this arm that comes up here, vertical, doesn't need to be long, there's no need for it to be long. Uh, of course the longer you go, the more travel you've got to get out of your uh, crank handle system in order to tip the um, thing the right way so uh, we're going to keep it short maybe three four hundred mil and um, make up a frame to carry it all and then we're going to do some tests using two identical springs and uh, so if we get a situation where the spring attached to this arm stretches more than the spring attached to the crank handle arm um, at the same distance out from the center of the shaft then we're on a winner. But what I did find with a real quick mock-up I made last week was um, when you load this 
when you turn the crank handle um, it continues to tip this but if this is loaded it wants to lift the weight up so I think that's going to be the killer but we'll see what happens so I'm going to go ahead and knock up a quick frame and um, have some dinner in the meantime and we'll come back and have a look see where we're at okay here's what we ended up with a uh, big unbalanced flywheel that's about it um, so there's the build turn your handle up the top now it's a big handle I made the handle the same or a larger length so I could um, have the same distance here for when I was going to do my spring test but I don't think there's any need to do that we may still do it but um, works as it should crank the handle off it goes nice and easy to turn and such but if we had a flywheel this weight on a straight shaft it would be reasonably easy to turn as well just as easy so the gain on this device is this weight supposed to be always falling sideways a bit hard to understand but um, basically that's what it claimed to be doing um, but so the gain is when you turn the handle this falls down to the low spot turn the handle a bit more falls down to the low spot and when this weight is falling there is quite a bit of torque on the output shaft and it's a little bit deceiving when you first crank it it is very very easy to turn but um, that's without a load on it so things change when you put a load on it and um, I'll show you what I mean here there's always a uh, hidden equal and opposite reaction we put that there and we turn the handle a bit you'll notice the shaft is going up so now the motor that would be driving the handle when the output shaft is under load in actual fact is lifting the weight up constantly so that is where the load comes in on the input as you can see so the weight's not actually constantly falling it's just um, basically spinning with the input shaft acting as a flywheel because in order for the weight to fall down to this position it first has to be raised so if I turn our crank 90 degrees you'll see it's once again come up level and if we let it go it drops down to the low spot and once again if we go another 90 degrees it raises the weight up to where it started and it drops down to the low spot so um, there is the equal and opposite reaction so the action is that we tilt this shaft and the weight wants to fall down to the lowest point which it does but the reaction is with a load on it as we've seen if we had a load it's trying to lift the weight up and can't actually grab the shaft underneath but if I hold this bit right here like my fingers would be the load you can see the shaft is coming up so as soon as you load the output on this your motor that's driving the input is going to be want to constantly lifting the weight up the weight wants to constantly fall but the motor the drive motor wants to constantly lift it up at the very same rate because in order for this weight to fall to a lower point it first has to be raised to a higher point like so and of course if you just spin in the handle it always stays at the low point it's not falling anywhere it's just spinning so I am glad I made the machine because I wanted to find out how this is supposed to be falling sideways all the time and uh, giving us a gain in power but it's actually not 
because it has to be lifted before it can fall and you don't see it because it may be just sitting at this point here with a certain load if the load's heavier it may be sitting here but um, she's a no-goer but I am happy I made it so I could find out what was going on with it uh, some are going to say of course oh no it's supposed to have a second weight up near the crank handle and it's the same thing as soon as you put a load on it it's going to be wanting to try and lift the second weight and of course the second weight up the top here is trying to make the primary weight swing down and give us an angle on this shaft so it doesn't matter how many weights you put on there it's not going to make any difference um, it is not constantly falling under load it would stay at a constant height so that's that one debunked and I was I did have hope for it because there's something that um, already exists that works um, under its own power forever no um, well it doesn't put out any power of its own but um, it runs constantly free of charge without a power source in the vehicle itself uh, but I'm going to leave that for another time leaving out what that is because um, it's associated with another machine I want to build so anyway it was a fun three hours building this even though it's not good for anything I guess if you wanted to um, compact some dirt or something and stand it up sideways it would be alright ok so that's uh, it for this video no cigar um, the old Skinner device does not work as claimed thanks for watching guys and we'll see you again